Israeli air strikes destroyed the Iranian embassies, consular annex, in Syria on Monday, April 1, killing and wounding everyone in sight, including a revolutionary guards commander, according to Iran State TV. Britain-based war monitoring group, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said eight people, including several guards members, were killed when Israeli missiles destroyed the building of an annex to the Iranian embassy. Iran's ambassador to Syria, Hossein Akbari, who was not in the building at the time, said on Iranian state TV that at least five people were killed in the attack, which was carried out by F-35 fighter jets. The deadly attack in Damascus comes at a time of soaring tensions over its Gaza war against Palestinian militants Hamas and intensifying violence between Israel and Iran's allies. AFP reporters saw the annex building had caved in, and emergency services were rushing to search for victims under the rubble as sirens wailed in the upscale Damascus district of Motsi. Security sources shielded the site where earth-moving equipment was brought in to clear the debris and remove charred vehicles from the road outside, watched by a crowd of onlookers. Syria's defense ministry said the attack destroyed the entire building, killing and injuring everyone inside, and work is underway to recover the bodies and rescue the wounded from under the rubble. Iranian state TV said among those killed was a senior commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Foreign Operations, um, the Quds Force, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Zahidi. The observatory said it had confirmed the killing of a high-ranking leader who served as the leader of the Quds Force for Syria and Lebanon, two Iranian advisers, and five members of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. The Damascus strikes were the fifth in eight days to hit Syria, whose President Bashar al-Assad is supported by Iran, Israel's longtime enemy in the region. Iran's ambassador, Agbori, said that the Israeli attack on the Iranian consulate shows the reality of the Zionist entity, which recognizes no international laws and does all that is inhumane to achieve its goals. Iran's foreign minister, Hossein Amarabdalayan, said in a call with his Syrian counterpart that Tehran holds Israel responsible for the consequences of the attack, according to Iran's state media on Monday. The strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus is a breach of all international conventions, Amr Abdelayan added, and he called for a serious response by the international community. Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Magdad also denounced the attack after visiting the site. We strongly condemn this heinous terrorist attack that targeted the Iranian consulate building in Damascus, killing a number of innocent people. Magdad said in a statement carried by Sanal. The Gaza war, which started with the October 7 Hamas attack on Israel, has devastated the coastal territory and also seen Israel and Lebanon's Iran-backed Hezbollah exchange near daily cross-border fire. Israel has also struck targets in Syria, mostly army positions, as well as those of Iran-backed combatants. The Damascus strike came three days after the observatory reported Israeli strikes that had killed 53 people in Syria, including 38 soldiers and seven members of Hezbollah. It was the highest Syrian army toll in Israeli strikes since the israel Hamas war began, said the Monitor. Syria and Lebanon have become one extended battleground from the Israeli perspective. Riyad Kawaji, head of the Institute for Near East and Gulf Military Analysis, told AFP after the Friday strikes. The attack on Iran's consulate in the Syrian capital Damascus is a startling apparent escalation of conflict in the Middle East with Israel against Iran and its allies.